I like aerosol cans because the, uh, the vibrancy of the color is easier to control because I do a lot of masking tape. So every layer of color that are on my current works or the bigger works is two to three cans of paint. And there's something that's, I guess it's more of like a meditation when I do my work. So that and the smells kind of sweet. <laughs> this is gonna sound really corny, but when I was in fourth grade, I drew a perfect circle by freehand. And I didn't understand the concept of drawing at that time because I just saw like Calvin and Hobbes was my, my kind of uh, my upbringing in the comic books. And I said, you know what, let's just start with the basics. I drew a circle and then that circle's always in my work, but comic books, I started to emulate drawing those and uh, I just started the art from a young age. My parents basically let me paint on the walls in my room, giant sonic hedgehog, you know, or make t-shirts creating my own characters that were emulating uh, Bill Watterson's illustrations. So I created a couple different little uh, characters from that and that's where my I guess genesis for art started. At BSU I had a minor in Mesoamerican studies and I consumed so much knowledge that I had no idea about my own heritage except for the stereotypical things that I was watching like lowrider culture movies that my dad would watch while I grew up. The westerns of course but I think you would probably just call it like a hybridization because I've figured, well, I've had this, 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 this word in my mind since college, it was called liminality. So it's the state of being betwixt and between two worlds. And so what I'm trying to do as I scale up my artwork is create a place where people will look at work, but they won't really feel like they're part of it, but displaced by looking at it. And that's where the optical effects come into play is I'm trying to get them to engage with it and at the same time for it to disengage them in a way. I think that art defines time from like the beginning of Capes of Lascaux, right? And then from what I was talking about my, with my heritage, the, the muralists of Mexico. And so and then you got Banksy, right? He's, he's making all of these works right now that are social commentary. Like I think art defines the time. And then right now there's gonna be all these whole new sets of artists that are coming out of this coronavirus, right? And then this inequality that's happening, or that has been happening before coronavirus. But we, we define time, and it's very important that we never lose our voice. My big, uh, I don't wanna say it's an issue, it's just how I, I function, right? I don't think in terms of linearity, but I can always come back to something always again. So coronavirus may not be something that's in my work right now, or I've seen it in the works of the past, or maybe it'll just pop up later. It's all intuitive for me. I like, I like the uh, subconscious to like, have a little bit more played in this than the conscious part of making decisions in art. Trying to create a voice in art in Boise that would welcome people into Latin culture, right? And so I'm visually trying to do that with the colors, right? Colors, everybody loves colors and people love design. So those are the two things that I'd like to focus on in my works, uh, regardless if they can identify with the cultural aspects to it. It's not really that important. The important part is that when they look at the work, they see that there is an experience to be had. There's this whole 20th century, end of 20th century idea that you have eight seconds with art, right? And then it's gone. Whereas I'm trying to find a way to incorporate people to spend time with the work again, be lost in the work. And that's why I'm trying to scale up so they can be lost. And that's where that whole liminality thing comes in. It's like, let's get them lost. Why not? That's where meditation can happen or where it begins when you look at art. I see art like poetry. You know, I've had, I really didn't get into poetry until I took a hybrid class in grad school. It was, it was a lit and art class, they, they sandwiched together, right? So I didn't really understand how words and, and um, art worked together or, or influenced each other. So I see like poetics in object, I see poetics in work. And that's where I really respect minimal works where they speak so much more with so little. Though that's not what I do, obviously. Um, but I'm not really making a like comment on social things going on right now. I'm just trying to create a space to maybe get lost into, like to be distracted by um, work versus being influenced by it, by you know some social com conversation, right? I mean, if someone finds something within the work that it, they identify with related to political, you know, or whatever, that's them. That's the beauty of art.